Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Matilda here, we just wanted to say hello and let you know what's gonna happen in this video. Today we're going to Slovakia. I won't tell you where yet, but if you've read the label on the video, then you probably know. We're gonna go have some beautiful lunch at a very classic restaurant in Slovakia. We are gonna see some of the old town and we're going to explore what this town has to offer. But if you have any more advice on what we should look at, leave something in the comments because I know we missed a lot and I would love to go back to this place and see more of it. But for now, enjoy the video and we will see you again. Today we are off to Bra Bratislava! Yeah! <laughs> what are you saying, Tills? Are you excited? We have never been there before. Tills is going to leave the country for the first time. And we're going to see what Bratislava has to offer. So I guess we start the montage now. So we'd made it to the train station. Now it was time to find the train. Wait, hold on. Are you serious? This isn't my train. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Ah, finally the real train was here. It was time to settle in and find ourselves a seat. First, Jetslav and then Bratislava. train's really full and we have the pram, the pram's not going to fit in this little corridor so I guess we're going to have to stand for the last hour to get to Bratislava. Oh well. It's fair to say that Bratislava train station is a bit of an eyesore but I guess it's only a place for the trains. There was so much help out here for the Ukraine people and it was really nice to see but also sad at the same time, having to see so many people having to flee their home. We just got to Bratislava. Uh, there's so many people in the train station. I tried to read some information on the internet, on the train, but I ended up just reading all of the Wikipedia page. Um, so I haven't learned anything useful to tell you. So I haven't learned anything useful to tell you. Worst vlogger ever. So we're going to make it up on the way? We'll figure it out. Another eyesore from Bratislava is the Slovak radio building, completed in 1983. It's 80 meters high, it's huge, and it's rated one of the 30th ugliest buildings in the world. So it's definitely a must-see if you're in town. So as you can see behind me, there is a reverse pyramid building, which is one of the most unique buildings I've ever seen in my whole life. It's used from a radio station, but seriously one of the strangest buildings I have ever seen. Probably not as majestic as the pyramids in Egypt, but I haven't seen them, so for now this is the most beautiful pyramid I have ever seen. So we're already starting to see some of the big square buildings, which I imagine there's going to be many of them. So have a little look for this montage, because it's all going to be commie buildings. The next step of our tour is Freedom Square Fountain, built by the Soviet Union and not really made for comfort. It is said that the Soviet Union didn't want a place for people to form groups and share ideas. It was also built with room for tanks, just in case there was any demonstrations. The fountain is said to be so loud that you couldn't talk anyways. The fountain has been out of order since 2007. The restoration is estimated to be over 1 million euros. So it looks like it's not getting fixed anytime soon. I guess we better go to the next part of our tour, some coffee. Three quarters. I think you're being funny, do you?
chai latte. Usually in Australia, these are like one of the most popular drinks at a coffee shop. You can also have a dirty chai, which is like a shot of espresso and chai. But this is my first non-homemade one. Let's see how it tastes. It's delicious. Mm. Nice and sweet, lots of spice, perfect to warm me up on this cold day. We seen this in the fridge and we decided we needed it straight away. It's a Biscoff cheesecake. So if you've ever had the Lotus biscuits, best biscuits out there, besides Tim Tams from Australia and Spectacular, they're good biscuits, biscuits as well. But these would be like top three biscuits. Let's give it a try. It looks delicious. I didn't want to share this with Yana. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever tasted. I'm going to finish this and we'll be on our way. <laughs> so we just went to this place called Fox Ford. It was delicious coffee, great atmosphere, and the decor was very cool and quirky. So if you're in Bratislava, make sure you check out this place. So apparently meant to hold your breath under this bridge. <gasps> Everything's gonna be okay. So behind me is one of the old ancient city gates. What's it called, Jans? Michalovska. Michalovska. It was built in the 14th century, but had a little bit of a facelift in the 17th century. And right now, there's a little bit of work going on, so we don't get to see it today. And Niana thinks that this is my cousin. She's right. Ahoy! So apparently under the gate you have to make a wish and be quiet all the way through to the bottom of it. So I guess I'll make a wish now. I can't tell you what it is, but we'll see if it comes true. I'll let you know. So immediately my wish didn't come true. Yana didn't get lost somehow and she still manages to be here. <laughs> But we're heading to Old Town now, so let's have we a look. We are heading. I don't care where you're going, but we are heading to the Old Town. Are you heading to the Old Town? Please don't follow us. I don't know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Tilly. It was a great life. It was a great life. It's beautiful and nice to be here. It's a really cold day, but it's just nice to check it out. So I half thought this guy was real. I was really apprehensive to come and say hello or even just to check it out of fear of being scared. But he's a statue monument and there's many of them around the town so hopefully we can see a few more. So the plan was to get some Slovakian food because we're in Slovakia, but we just went past a Mexican restaurant, so we're going to check that out instead. I know we're not in Mexico, 
But I love Mexican food and so does Yana. They're fucking close. Okay, so apparently they're close. So. No, they're not just close, they're fucking close. No, they're not just close, they're fucking close. <laughs> Normally I take the swearing out of my vlogs, but this was just too funny. <laughs> so I guess we are gonna have to find something else to eat. No, Maybe some Slovakian food. <laughs> we'll see. Excuse me, <laughs> you're ruining the video. Yes, that was Karen. Yes. Are you Karen? Can I talk to the manager? <laughs> so we couldn't finish our Bratislava adventure without trying some of the local food. So we've got a restaurant in mind. See if you can recognize it. All right, all right, all right. I know it's not authentic Slovakian food, but it's in Slovakia. <laughs> Think about these restaurants, you gotta to pay to go to the toilet. So we got a happy meal today. We got some uh, cards, pretty cool. I thought I'd get something different. So we got a spicy chicken burger with jalapenos. And we got some spicy chicken nuggets. And a double cheeseburger. So they actually have a habanero spicy sauce on the menu. And I just tried it. It's pretty spicy. Like, I've never actually had anything spicy from McDonald's, even if it said it's spicy on the menu. Got a bit of kick to it. I'm just not, not sure I'm gonna eat any more of that. Another different thing they had was curry sauce, which I would kind of think you would find in the UK, but I guess they have it here. It's delicious. Let's dip some nuggets in it. Look at these spicy guys. Try the curry sauce first, but these are meant to be spicy nuggets. Kind of got a nice dark coating on them with some kind of seasoning. Curry sauce tastes awesome. It's sweet, got all the spices you need. Mm, delicious nugget. A little bit spicy, but not too bad. The coating is crispy and delicious. I wouldn't say it's too different from the normal ones. Just a little bit more spicier. So I guess we should try the spicy McChicken, which is one of the new ones on the menu. I thought I should try some different stuff on the menu because I know every country has something different on their McDonald's menu. So we got spicy McChicken with some jalapenos. It looks good. See how spicy it is? It's got the nice sweet bun. Got the crispy, crispy chicken. I'm starting to get a little bit of burn on my tongue, but not too bad. Pretty delicious all around. And one last thing, just to make sure that McDonald's is not too different in Slovakia, I got a double cheeseburger. So we'll see if it tastes the same as it does in Australia. Same taste. Amazing. I love it. That's McDonald's for now. Nothing like some beautiful Slovakian food to hit the spot. What did you think, Jan? Yes, definitely Slovakian, great. <laughs> great Slovakian food. Let's go, Tills. Hello my dear friends, you have probably never heard my voice because Cody hey. is ashamed of me and that's why he's never recording me on the video. This is a Slovakian flag. Unfortunately, right now you can't see it in the full beauty. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Yes, that's it. Let's just enjoy, the, enjoy this view. I don't know if you see me walking up that hill, but that's the way to Bratislava Castle which stands on an isolated rock looking over the Danube River. It has a great lookout point and you can even see Austria from it. So that was pretty cool. 
but pushing the frame up here was pretty annoying. So I'm probably only gonna do it once. Wait a second, I've got a better idea. Yana can push the baby. <laughs> You got me kills? You enjoying it? Nom 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 it's not actually that easy, there's not that much signage. Well, there should be. You just kind of walk around the trail and it just leads to nowhere. So hopefully we get out of here. Yeah, it's gone to run ahead to see if it's another dead end. Dead end number three. Tilly's been eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So our third option was a no-go as well. So we have to go all the way back around the massive castle and to the way we came in. So if you're ever at the castle, just make sure you go in one way and you come out the same way because it's impossible otherwise. One thing you need to know when going to these older cities are that wheelchair and pram access is like impossible to find. So you can expect steep inclines like this one. Ah, the joys of having a baby. We made it. But not all of us found it fun. Okay, friends, it's gonna end my vlog for today. Uh, I hope you liked that. And I hope you learned something about Bratislava. There's more content to come. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure to message me if you wanna say anything. No problem, I'll get back to you. Bye for now. Stay nice to your mum. Sorry friends, I'm back just for one thing. You didn't think I could go to another town and not have a beer. I'm at the train station, having a beer. See you later. Good night. <laughs>